Uh, welcome, everyone. I'm very happy to be uh, among you today. Uh, happy that you could join this webinar. Uh, we will just wait a couple of minutes to allow people to, uh, to join in, tune in, uh, and have as many uh, participants as possible. So as I said, um, welcome everyone. My name is uh, Nicholas uh, from the company uh, Skill. I'm the founder uh, and managing partner uh, of Skill. Today, uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, talent acquisition in a post-COVID world. So uh, to start with, and you know, from our standpoint, uh, we have reached a point uh, where leaders actually need to look over the hill uh, and beyond the current challenges. Uh, so it's going from you know, near-term uh, survival to you know, start planning for uh, the, the, the new normal. So obviously, you know, we can't predict exactly you know, what the uh, immediate future uh, holds. And even if we did, consensus on the way ahead is unlikely. But you know, the situation will never, never fully return to, uh, to business as we knew it. And perhaps uh, this is a, a good thing. Um, today's you know, opportunity... Uh, for forward-looking CEOs, head of HR, talent acquisition leaders, is to reflect, think, and really revise their uh, strategy to ensure that you know uh, the right tools uh, are in place, and you know you have the smartest approach uh, for post-COVID-19 world. So, if you think that it's not the right moments because you know you're not hiring, uh, then you're really missing the point. Um, but, you know, the good thing is uh, there's possibility to change, and this is uh, given to almost any company. So the world we live in is obviously more remote, more competitive than ever, uh, and companies that understand that working with top-tier talent will be obviously the companies that uh, largely uh, outperform others. And as I said, you know, the good thing is, you know, it's possible for any company in any sector to, uh, to actually uh, change. So what I would like to say is, and keep that in mind, so that you know, 80% of CEOs evaluate that hiring top talents is you know, one of their top three priorities. So yet, you know, so many organizations uh, don't have the, the process uh, to be able to do this correctly. And we hope you know, we can uh, give you some, uh, some advice today. Couple of word about uh, skill, and very very shortly, you know, skill is not just another ETS. You know, what we are calling ourselves is modern uh, predictive talent acquisition software, uh, really allowing recruiters to hire the best, almost scientifically. I mean, we uh, we use you know hundreds of years of research, um, cutting edge uh, technology to really help uh, companies making the best hiring decisions. If Obviously, you can do it with a very modern, user-friendly software. It's a plus, and this is what we are offering. But it's really all about quality hire. So the agenda for today, uh, I mean, first, you know, what is the latest? It's really to understand uh, the changes to the to the job market, and you know, uh, have a look at some recent st studies and surveys uh, we have uh, looked at. Obviously, what is you know the impact on talent acquisition and really looking on you know key trending impact of the COVID uh, on the recruitment uh, and that you should be following since you know it will impact uh, your strategy moving uh, forward from crisis to opportunity. So obviously, you know uh, with the right strategy, organization can stay one step ahead. Uh, but obviously, this will require uh, long term planning uh, and. Uh, long-term impact as well. How AI technology can uh, and technology can help. So how to fill roles quickly without compromising uh, on candidate experience and quality hire. This is extremely important. Good. So if you're still uh, with me, uh, let's start. So you know what is uh, the, what's the latest. So uh, let's take a look at how you know the current crisis has reshaped the uh, UK market. So in just a few, uh, let me change slide so you can see. Um, in just a few short months, you know, uh, life as we knew it has completely transformed. Uh, most industries have experienced an abrupt uh, and brutal downturn, uh, causing big changes to talent acquisition. So what we see in this graph is, you know, job vacancies have 
dried up in the UK uh, during the COVID-19 crisis. Data from Azurna, it's a job platform, found that uh, vacancies in the UK are down 59% uh, compared to uh, last summer with, and this is really a huge number, uh, with 80% uh, down, down 80% uh, in some areas. So this is massive. Um, so this is just not a, a normal crisis as everyone has uh, realized. So moreover, I mean, just on the 1.7 million vacancies were listed across uh, the UK between April and July, um, with May uh, being the worst month uh, in more than two years. Uh, so this is not ideal, uh, but you know we will walk you through uh, the presentation and uh, and give you uh, tips and tricks. Uh, I mean, what uh, we can see also, and you know, the employment search engine indeed says that you know posting uh, usually increase early in the year. Um, so at the start of 2020, that's exactly what has happened. Uh, the volume of posting in the UK grew faster. Uh, in January uh, this year, but you know, job posting began to drop uh, in mid-March. Uh, so we see this is uh, correlated to you know the government advice uh, to you know begin with uh, social uh, distancing. So as March, uh, the job posting on Indeed are you know 33 uh, percent da down uh, on the last uh, time of the year. So if you compare uh, this year with uh, with the last. A year. So the good news is that over you know the past couple of weeks, hiring intentions uh, were again on the rise, and more and uh, more vacancies level have risen uh, again. So you know uh, this is very good news. Okay, so let me talk to you a bit more about you know power shift. Uh, in recent years, we have seen you know the transition into you know a candidate-driven uh, job market. So before you know COVID, uh, the the global rate of unemployment was historically low, uh, which we see was great, uh, and you know recruiters um, working in the field uh, had to become increasingly tech savvy and creative. So when it comes to standing out as you know top employer in making sure that you outperform the competitors uh, for the best talent, it was a shortage of talent, so you had to be the best and most uh, effective in order to uh, to attract. Uh, the greatest talent, which is always what uh, HR teams want to do. So, of course, everything is rather different now. Um, according to the International uh, Labour Organization, the COVID pandemic uh, will be responsible for more than 300 um, job loss worldwide. So, obviously, this is massive. Um, companies are now, you know, calling the shots hiring at their own pace in some areas, you know, there are very little competition um, in their respective uh, industry. So, you know, what will happen to, uh, to the UK uh, unemployment in the future? With, you know, more than 9 million workers, you know, which have been furloughed, uh, the furloughed will, be become, will come to an end uh, by October 31st, uh, and employers that uh, well, we have to decide if they can afford to keep uh, the workers so that we could see uh, a big wave of unemployment by uh, the autumn. Um, in fact, you know, the poll by the CIPD uh, and ADECO uh, amongst uh, 2,000 organizations found that you know, one in three employers um, are planning to make job cuts uh, by the end of uh, September uh, as you know, the government uh, wins down uh, its corona uh, support. Okay. So we see in the meantime, I mean, uh, if you have any questions, you know, please uh, write them down. You know, we will be able to answer uh, all your questions by uh, the end of uh, the webinar. So now let me talk to you a bit more about, you know, the impact uh, on talent acquisition. So. You know, what does this mean for uh, talent acquisition? Um, you know, the, the hiring market isn't uh, what it was at the beginning of 2020. I mean, uh, we were planning for growth, explosion, uh, uh, yet, you know, uh, everything has uh, changed. So what we can say is whatever prediction uh, were made in, in, in the end of 2019 have, has gone right out of the uh, window. And now, you know, employers are bracing, uh, you know, for the impact of uh, the coronavirus. Hence, you know, it's, it's extremely important right now to revisit, 
reevaluate uh, your talent acquisition uh, strategies. You know, in times of crisis, that uh, it's best to make uh, the right investments uh, and really reevaluate to make sure that you are more strategical than uh, than ever. So, you know, whatever, whatever you know, you're freezing, stabilizing, or ramping up uh, your hiring. Uh, this is an opportunity for employers to reevaluate. Re re their recruiting strategy and position themselves competitively in a recovering uh, market. So now, you know, as I said, it's a it's a good time to reassess your organization recruitment goals and make the necessary adjustment based on a recent change uh, in the market. Okay. To start with, you know, uh, if you thought about, you know, the type of talent required to enable your business uh, to succeed in uh, COVID, in post-COVID, I mean, this is a, a question. It's really important for you to ask yourself, you know, what are the skills and competences, experience your business, you know, will need to strive in the future. So what I can say is, you know, it's important to first look at your existing talent inventory first. You may, you know, uh, not need the same type of talent any longer, right? Um, so, for example, uh, you may uh, be a retailer and previously you hired a high volume of floor staff, but now you have shifted uh, to online shopping. Uh, so you need more people, you know, uh, in warehouse staff to facilitate this, right? So hence, you know, consider uh, the rising importance of soft skills. Uh, it's extremely important. People always, you know, have a sense of soft skills when they interview. Um, however, you know, it's, it's important to really be able to evaluate uh, that on the, the, the most precise uh, uh, criteria. LinkedIn um, has analyzed its, uh, its data to uh, identify skills employers want most and how can this can uh, use them to raise their game. Uh, so it says that uh, interpersonal skills, soft skills uh, versus hard skills are the most prioritized. So this also reflects uh, previous research by, you know, organizations such as Deloitte or, you know, the World Economic Forum, which uh, investigated the skills that, you know, will be needed uh, for the fourth uh, industrial revolution. Um, and the, the report is called, you know, a Future of Jobs report. Um, and what came out there is, you know, the ability to adapt comfort with ambiguity, uh, strong influencing skills uh, in a business landscape that changes daily is really the, the, the most critical. So with more and more um, employers and employees, you know, discovering uh, that they can work from home um, and enjoying it, uh, many people have discovered, you know, the, the, the sense of their families and being able to work and then on the side, you know, also taking care of their family. You, you really may also need, you know, to start, you know, screening for remote uh, working skills, such as, you know, the ability to self-motivate uh, and strong time management. Uh, and this is becoming extremely critical because you cannot do uh, micromanagement with people uh, working uh, from home. Uh, they will, and there should be a sense of trust. So, I mean, what I would like to to to, to spend a couple of minutes to uh, to talk about is we see a bit of a crowded uh, market. Um, so, if you are evaluating a uh, marketing recruitment drive now, right now, uh, you might think, hey, fantastic, uh, my recruitment process should be easy, right? You know, there's many uh, more candidates and, you know, there's this newly flush of candidates, but, you know, it won't make your recruitment uh, any easier. I mean, the truth uh, is that even though uh, people will, you know, potentially get a ton of response and talent acquisition team will get tons of responses to uh, job postings, you know, it, it will be that, you know, much more difficult to uh, evaluate and find the right uh, people with the right uh, skill set. So a lot of people will apply for a lot of positions uh, and, you know, whether they have the, the right skills or not. I mean, um, and this is also something that you have to, uh, to take into consideration. Uh, so, you know, it's not because you get more uh, quantity that automatically the quality increases. Um, a, a website that, you know, uh, that is well known, I mean, read.co.uk uh, data shows that 48% uh, a 48% uh, a, a increase um, in, uh, in, uh, in applicants per vacancy on average when uh, compared to pre-COVID-19 uh, levels. So, 
what is you know important is now you know before um, companies were getting about uh, 24 well bef- at the, the moment people are getting about you know 24.5 candies uh, for each row compared to 16.5 uh, you know if you compare to uh, February last year so it's it's really uh, a different level so what we'd like to say is organization need to start looking for critical talent now uh, because it will take longer than it did before uh, to sort through um, applicants. So this means that you know we will have to work on being more selective, more thoughtful uh, on uh, and analyze what the right culture needs are um, in order to find uh, the, the people that are best fitted uh, for our businesses. Something that I would like to mention is related to AI and machine learning technology, uh, especially assessment, will be essential uh, to identify those you know best best fit uh, for the roles and according to your uh, culture. So, which we will be talking a bit uh, about you know later. So let me. I spend a bit of time talking about recruitment, uh, virtual recruitment. So, the the, the future of work survey uh, by Cileo, uh, the world leading uh, recruitment process um, outsourcing provider, found that uh, companies and talent well, companies talent acquisition team have embraced uh, new recruitment practices in recent months. Uh, which is obviously uh, good news. And, you know, 59% of companies have interviewed candidates over video. Um, 67% of businesses have successfully uh, offered and onboarded, virt- uh, and onboarded virtually. So, you know, this is something that businesses were not, you know, uh, highly prepared for before, but now we really see a, a big, big change. Um, so the, the respondent indicated that uh, an increased focus on virtual recruitment efforts have been successful and are set to stay post-crisis. So, you know, the, the majority, 82% actually, uh, and you can see it in, uh, in, um, in the slide, of hiring managers will continue interviewing candidates by video, with 41% happy to onboard starters virtually um, and 33% uh, confident uh, in making offers without first meeting uh, face to face. I'm quite pleased because, you know, this was also uh, the case for uh, for skill in this. Uh, we had the hiring plan and we decided even uh, with the, the crisis to deliver on that hiring plan and we onboarded uh, close to eight uh, people during the crisis. So, you know, it's really possible and most of them we didn't even uh, meet. Some of them we actually act- never met uh, still. So, you know, it's uh, it's it's possible and uh, and it's still possible for them to be top performers. Um, let me talk to you a bit more about, you know, uh, rethinking about uh, employee benefits, you know, to attract, hire, and retain uh, talents. So a, a key response uh, your company should focus on is to examine and rebuilding a benefits package. Uh, so, you know, by the time the we hit the post-pandemic stride, uh, the benefits you promoted a year ago, you know, will seem a, a bit outdated. So, you know, your employees will be, you know, living in a new no more uh, you'll need uh, new creative benefits to retain uh, talented employees uh, and snag, you know, new uh, superstar. So, you know, remote work was a benefit that, you know, was already trending in 2019 and and has exploded this year, which is uh, for many reasons great. Um, Studies have found actually that 99% of respondents said that they would like to work remotely um, at some point, and another um, um, another study reported that 67 uh, percent said that they would actually quit their job if the workplace would come less flexible. So you know you should also consider that you know you might need to add you know benefits after the COVID crisis uh, has passed. Uh, for example, you know what kind of wellness offering uh, could you include, uh, and what will uh, help those at home. A bit about you know mental uh, health care, uh, which is an important subject uh, in these times. So it, it's also another benefit uh, area that you could use, you know, to snoring up uh, as well as you know child care, uh, which grows more popular. So whatever you uh, you do, you know, strive for flexibility. I mean, this is uh, hugely important. 
uh, your employees need in these chaotic times uh, and your business operation will actually uh, benefit for, from it uh, in the meantime. So, you know, by adding uh, a health dose of flexibility to your benefits, you'll be better uh, able to adapt uh, to whatever the future uh, holds. Okay. So from crisis to opportunity, um, you know, uh, restart after uh, COVID-19. Uh, it's said that, you know, the worst of times brings, you know, the best uh, in people. Uh, as it happens, you know, this is true for organization as well. Um, over the world, you know, companies are uh, being highly challenged uh, to find new ways to serve their customers and communities. Um, but almost every leader we speak to uh, has an inspiring story of, you know, radical positive change uh, in how it gets done, uh, you know, and uh, and how this can be uh, this can be accomplished. Okay, um, so you know, get, getting the the to yes with you know the, the C suite, the C suite. Uh, now is the time, uh, definitely uh, is the time. Uh, so. It, the, the time is now not only to demonstrate the value of talent acquisition, but also build a solid business case for modern talent acquisition function. I mean, always keep in mind that, uh, you know, the, the talent acquisition uh, is not transactional. It's, it's purely strategical. I mean, think about it. You know, the, the role that you're given is, you know, to place the best people in the right uh, position in the organization. I mean, this is one of the most strategical uh, part of business. Um, and you know the C-suite have to understand this. If you, you if you don't have the support uh, of uh, of the C-suite, and you see that you do, because eighty percent uh, of CEOs says that you know hiring the best talent are you know I I one of their top three priorities. You know it's it's now the time also to uh, to uh, to invest because you know you might have gained time uh, which you didn't have before because you know operations were you know uh, so important. So. Uh, keep in mind uh, that this is uh, important. So now it's, it's time to build, you know, the business case for the C-suite and, you know, secure stakeholders uh, buying, think about, you know, cost saving, what, you know, cost you will avoid, you know, technology and sourcing, cost optimization to, you know, uh, uh, gaining technological capabilities, uh, but also, you know, efficiency gain, you know, productivity, diversity uh, is something that you will uh, greatly benefit from. Okay. So, talent acquisition uh, to help you and your business, obviously this is uh, important, but you know, the impact of COVID has triggered, triggered an acceleration of digital HR as new ways of working, you know, forced organization to tap uh, in their technologies and push creative ways uh, of, you know, leveraging them. So, you know, what is funny is, you know, what, what a survey that has been done is you who let uh, who led the, the digital transformation in your company? And, you know, the answer was CEO, the CTO, uh, or COVID-19. And, you know, uh, COVID-19 is, uh, is an answer that comes up uh, very regularly. So, you know, it's, it's really the time to, uh, to use, um, to use, well, it's, it's really time for you to use this uh, effectively also. So, you know, uh, technology has never been more essential than it is today. Uh, it can streamline and automate process, including helping companies, you know, manage, managing the high volumes of applications, which will be likely to be coming in the month. Uh, and with increase of unemployment, I mean, uh, resulting from this impact of the coronavirus, you can see that uh, the need is uh, truly there. Yeah, let me... So let me talk to you a bit more about, you know, uh, the driving acceleration of, uh, of tech adoption. Um, so the experience of the last month have, has accelerated the adoption of innovation driving technologies uh, from video based uh, interviewing to people analytics and AI uh, as research uh, from universal shows, you know, the global leader in employer branding has found. Um, you know, businesses that are, you know, perfecting their use of technology will like, you know, remote uh, interviewing, screening, asynchronous video interview and onboarding uh, now will be well placed uh, to win the best talents when uh, they are ready to scale up and hire again. So, you know, really keep uh, this in mind uh, when you think about adopting new technologies. So the, the role of AI, uh, so, you know, coronavirus, 
virus has spurred spur the, the adoption of AI-powered uh, candidate recruitment and screening tools. Um, so leveraging the technology and AI-powered tools was important uh, in the tight labor market uh, already when we saw uh, a few months ago uh, and you know, will remain critical as companies rebuild their post-pandemic workforce. So you know, now emerging technology arguably um, has more impact on the evaluation and the evolution uh, and refinement of you know, the, the pandemic workplace. Uh, there's nothing more important than uh, than uh, artificial intelligence. So, in uh, talent acquisition, AI you know speeds up uh, the hiring process, creates a win-win situation for uh, all that are involved. You know, candidate receive you know swifter answers and feedback, and recruiters uh, and companies can fill position uh, more quickly. So we see a pure win-win in this case. Um, it will also play an important role in you know, coping uh, with the process of high volume hiring uh, while you know, eliminating uh, unconscious bias uh, that influence uh, decision making. Um, so, you know, also keep this uh, in, uh, in mind. Obviously, the, the, the big influx of hiring uh, can be you know, uh, challenging for many companies. Uh, as it can, you know, both increase the workload, uh, the workload on HR, and cause uh, financial strain. But also, you know, uh, indirect causes can be we see overwhelming uh, HR teams, you know, not being able to respond to candidates, and you know, losing out on your uh, brand uh, image. So, you know, it's uh, it's 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 very important to uh, to be able to uh, to have the right strategy to cope uh, on this. So, what we would like to say is, you know, instead of uh, hiring and doubling uh, their recruiting staff uh, to process the, the increasing in candidate applying for uh, for position. You know, can companies can use uh, AI tools to you know for the initial stage uh, of the process, including you know uh, AI uh, enable uh, chatbots, but also pre-employment assessments, AI screening te technologies, uh, which will allow um, uh, recruiters to focus on interacting with the candidates in uh, the recruitment process. I mean, the added value of the recruiters is really, you know, uh, to speak um, to speak to the candidates, really feel, have a sense of them, you know, uh, uh, being a good fit uh, for your, your organization um, and uh, and helping, you know, drive uh, success in, uh, in your business. So, you know, I would like you to, to share a couple of uh, key takeaways. Uh, for this webinar is, you know, COVID uh, impact is, you know, transformational. Uh, understand, you know, the change to the job market uh, and your business and act uh, on it. Um, this crisis, you know, creates new opportunities and you should embrace uh, these opportunities. Um, you know, think about, you know, the HR function and professional uh, playing a key uh, role um, and, you know, to, to, uh, to, finish up is you know it's really time to embrace technology uh, and uh, and ai so thank you uh, very much